So one of my biggest pet peeves is when people who want to make cinematic video just apply fake 21 by 9 bars to their videos to make it look like it's an ultra wide resolution, but in reality it's at a measly 16 by 9 resolution. Today in this quick tips, I'm going to show you how to make a true 21 by 9 sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro instead of pulling in an image of two fake black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and even commercials literally just do this. They create their project just like you'd create any other project and they pull in their 1920 by 1080p footage or their 16 by 9 footage and then plop that right onto the timeline making a sequence. Right now this is at a 16 by 9 resolution it would fit on most monitors but if you have an ultra wide monitor for productivity or gaming it would have two huge black bars on either side just like if you were trying to play a 4 by 3 video on a modern 16 16 by 9 display. And then what they do when they want to make it look all cinematic is they go on to Google Images and they try and find this cinematic bars image. If I plug that onto my sequence and expand it until it's at a reasonable scale and then get a color key, plug that on there, go and key out the white. As you can see, this video appears as if it's cinematic, but in reality it isn't. Export that at a 1920 by 1080 p resolution. And now if I go and play that video that I just exported on something like this 16 by 9 monitor, if I full screen it, as you can see, it looks pretty good. But if I go and move that onto my ultra wide monitor right here, it's literally one of the smallest boxes you could possibly imagine. This is the black boxing from 16 by 9, and this is the black boxing that I just added in Premiere. And in my opinion, that's literally just taking away pixels, and it's not doing anything that's cinematic at all. So I'm going to delete everything out of this project and pull in my video again and instead of pulling that directly onto the timeline I'm actually going to right click go to new item and create a new sequence and then when we have the sequence settings here instead of selecting a preset go into the settings here and where it has the frame size I'm going to type in 2560 by 1080 and although it doesn't say that it's a 21 by 9 resolution that is still 21 by 9 that's the resolution of this ultra wide monitor and although you might have some cinemas that might not support 2560 by 1080 it might be a lot higher resolution or maybe even a lot lower this is still something that should get the desired effect and i'm also going to adjust the video preview right here and there we go if you look at this box right here now it appears a lot wider and a bit shorter than it did in the previous clip so now if i pull this video onto the sequence it says oh the sequence settings don't match because that video is at a different resolution instead of changing the sequence settings keep the existing settings so that it still is that 21 by 9 resolution up here. And now this looks like I was trying to play a regular 16 by 9 video on my ultra wide monitor. What you want to do is scale this video up and I found that 135% for a 1080p video is enough. Now as you can see it fills in the entire preview. So if I add in a cross dissolve here and export out that media it already has applied that 2560 for the width right here. So if I just keep that and then go and play that video that just exported on my desktop. As you can see when I make it full screen it takes up the entire ultra wide monitor there are no black bars at all here and this is a true cinematic aspect ratio instead of having that fake stuff that's just taking away pixels and even though if i go and play it on here it doesn't take up the entire screen it still has that desired effect the footage itself is actually 21 by 9. now i guess you could argue that by having those black bars at the top and having to scale up the 1080p footage you are in fact losing resolution and you are killing off pixels but let's say you're using something like a 4k resolution and you want to still downscale that into an ultra wide 1080p sequence you still have the extra fidelity of the 4k resolution but you also have that true cinematic aspect ratio now the only exceptions that i could give you guys is if you already have an existing 16 by 9 sequence and you've edited a bunch of footage but you only want one clip to be at 21 by 9 then you can add in the black bars and make it appear cinematic or let's say you want to transition into the cinematic aspect ratio and then transition out just for a special effect. I think that that's fine. But if you are in the film industry or if you are a YouTuber and you want to make an entire video at a cinematic aspect ratio, how dare they sin like this? Make the sequence the correct way and manipulate your footage the correct way. 
that's the only way to do it and i'm certainly no film snob i love 60 fps but in this case you're literally making it a terrible experience for users that actually went out and purchased the proper projector monitor tv to use that 21 by 9 aspect ratio so with that said guys i hope this video was informative and somewhat entertaining and i'll catch you all in the next quick tips bye bye